Oh no, hellos, and welcome back to another tournament video, and today we're going to be taking a look at a, a build I was wanting to play for a long time, and I think it's the perfect time to play it, because I've been, well, getting a lot of losses, so this is kind of my take on, like, Core Sky Fisher. Um, I know a couple people have, like, Core Sky Fisher decks, and it's very, like, well, to say the least, it's very, uh, just... Boros aggro. Mine's a little bit different. It's a little bit of a different take on Core Sky Fisher. So if you don't know what Core Sky Fisher is, probably the best white creature in this format. So it's just a 2-3 flyer that you could turn a permanent you control to your opponent's hands, which is very important in this deck. Um, so the build I'm running is the Synthesizer uh, Shell. This is actually featured in Vintage Popper a lot. It's actually a really powerful deck too. Uh, but we don't have Glint Hawk, so we kind of have to use, uh, every mechanic, which is still pretty good in this deck, but it's not, not great, but it's still pretty good, you know, you still get the benefit. So this kind of build on the deck is relying on experimental synthesizer. So basically I made this deck so that every time you play this card, you're going to hit everything. With this card. Um, I know in Vintage Swapper they do the same thing. If you're running like four synthesizers, you want to hit every spell on time, all the time, and you want to make sure it's good. Um, so basically, that's what this deck is it's just abusing experimental synthesizer. And once you get all that mana up, you can just play your whole deck. Now, the trick part with this is you kind of have to play a Xerox type of thing where you gotta have less lands in your deck. So I'm running about 17. This is just because of the curve. I have 1.6 average, so that's pretty low. And also the fact that Arena has a different way of grouping cards together. So you might have get your lands at a beneficial time than you might you know normally do. So everything else is typical core sky fisher nonsense um i'm running more like tech like backup agent and like witty route master just because i'm uh i like to play differently other than that that's pretty much a core sky fisher deck at its finest um soul warden that's good against like uh burn or any like heavy creature decks tokens elves Zombies, all that stuff. It's good against them. Or Jebel's good against ninjas. Or Tempo. It's also a really good bounce target, so if you want to take out multiple things, you can. Relic of Progenitus. Graveyard X. Recall. Uh, I know Sunny plays like Platypus Power to get back his creatures, so another good card. Dawnbringer Cleric. I actually have this in the main. I think it's really good. But this is just good against like almost everything. Um, especially enchantments. Enchantment uh, decks hate this card, so bouncing this, it's just gonna leave them with an empty board. It's great. It's also good against life uh, burn, so keep that in mind. Uh, Feet of Resistance. This is if we run in into any control decks um, that run a lot of destruction. We only have one, well, technically three ways to protect our creatures, but you know. Probation's good against like flyers or like mono green. I know mono green will be a tough matchup for us, so this is good against that deck as well. Here's something I want to watch. Um, this is good against elephants and also mono green. So mono green and elephants, just in case they try to attack me, get a huge board state. So yeah, basically the deck. We're just gonna keep spamming out spells with this guy. And basically have a core sky fisher plan in the mix. Of course, we won't have big beaters, so we have to rely on burn a little bit. But other than that, this deck is pretty nice and spicy. I think you guys will enjoy. I should Let's see if it's an aggro match. It should be fine. That's actually a good start. Okay. Got synthesizer too. Uh, that's not good though. 
Uh, play Vizino. Should just say opponent. Ooh. Me likey. I can bait him. Because I can do this. Turn this. And do voltage. Hold on the voltage surge. Oh, but it's mono green though. So that's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to get rid of the flying creatures, so. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what I have to do in this match. But hey. I get free damage. Uh, yeah, I'll keep pressuring. He has no board state, so. Getting as much damage as I can is really good. I could even, like, pressure him right now. Unblockable. It's a land. Ah, I'll just swing in there. Because right now I just need to focus on flying creatures. Yes. That's not what I wanted to see. Gain four, but it's not really that good. Ooh. That was a good pull. Put down the size again. So this deck runs a lot of life gain. Uh, but I have ways around it, so... Good thing about this matchup is I can... Abuse really game threats. Do I just wanna Yeah. These flyers are getting annoying, but whatever. Oh we actually went for an attack. I don't know. Okay. Ah. Uh... I guess we will do that. Sack this. I sue. And then we will, I guess, swing. Oh, he takes it. Okay, uh... Yeah. Kinda got him down to size. He's got winding away. Oh, he has enough. Damn. Annoying, but... Okay, what I can do, though, is bounce... I need another land, though, I think. Oh, it's annoying. Alright, whatever. Ah, uh, this fires. So much in the way. I want an attack. Yeah. Ooh. That's a good hit. Okay. So. He's just gonna gain six life, so. Man, that's annoying. I have to put him down the size, but... Okay. What I could do here... Alright, I'm just gonna do it. You can't block it, so... That's good. 
And then we'll do another one. Okay, I'll land's fine. And then I guess we'll go... Have I already cast something for the turn, right? No. Okay, do that. And then do... This. Return that guy. And turn. Hate these mammoths, though. They're annoying. He has to tap out, but gives me a good opportunity to get like extra damage. Yeah. Mammoth. Annoying. But that's whatever. Ooh, it goes for the attack. Uh okay. Block. If I get another wedding invitation then. Okay, I don't know what that is. Could be a boy. Ooh, that was a good hit. Okay. First things first. The synthesizer. Play the planes. Play this guy. Make this a bigger threat. And then... We'll just go for the... Well, yeah. She'll block with two of those, but I have another one, see? So... Okay. Oh, this, this trade is fine. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And then I will bounce. Wait. Well, yeah, probably. And then I can make, if he doesn't have another flyer, I can make that unblockable. It's annoying, but. God damn these honey mammoths. Boo! Why? <laughs> Stupid life gain, man. He only attacks with one, though. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. That's a good hit. <sighs> Why must he be like this? Okay. Another shot. Untap land, really? Uh, I mean, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not enough, but gain life here. We'll play this Get damage. Um, and then. Fools. Okay. And we discard that, that's fine. <sighs> Stupid. So we're just running these gain life. It's, it's so dumb. It's, it shouldn't be working, but it is. Okay. I think he's out of options. He needs to get rid of this board somehow. You son of a Peasley, come on. Well, actually, that's not really going to help. See, he blinks it. Of course. Of course. Why, why, not? why, why not? Just be more annoying. Why don't you? Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just need a block. Um, I still have a way to get in, though. That's the thing. 
Oh, that's his game, right? I make this make this unblockable. Swing. Cloud shift, blanket. And I guess you ask goodbye. <laughs> okay, he's running a aggressive deck. Looks just the bounce. I think Cloud Shift's still good in this matchup, but I really want to get rid of his flyers. So I think Forge Devil is pretty good in this. Uh, this might be too slow, but yeah, I think it. I don't really need well. I don't really need life gain, so I th think taking out these is fine. Um. We'll do Feet of Resistance. And then we'll do Probation because he's running some big creatures, so having that is really good. I think that's too slow. Um. Code Spell Cleric is okay. I could take out one. Don't want to take out my the Pacino is really good. Um, nah, you know what? Put him one back. Backup agents, not. I don't think it's good. I'm gonna be pressuring the air more. Uh, unblockable is good in this matchup too. Four damage. Okay, maybe this goes. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much how I want to sideboard that. Okay, well, yeah, his deck is really annoying because he gains life. But if I can stop that, then that'll be good. It's a risky hand to keep. Ugh, it's so good, though. No, I'm keeping it. Fine if I don't get a lands, but I have experimental synthesizer to kind of edge things out. Paid off. All right. I think I want to. I think doing this early is fine. I can bounce the red. I don't care about my lands being like. I don't care about curve. I just care about getting my threads out early. That's a plane, but not a huge deal. Um, I could court, yeah, do that, so I can bounce it. I could pick off his creatures that way. Well, I have another one, so might as well. Alright. Kills Mana Ramp, too. Honey Mammoth, I'm gonna have to worry. Uh, that's gonna be the issue. Is that my boy? Kind of behind a little bit. I have to discard one like whatever. I'm not getting the mana I want, but it's the mana I need right now. Maybe a little bit of life gain wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, there's Honey Mammoth, as expected. Um, I think I do Epicure into Code Spell Cleric. Seems like the play here. And I can race him because I can chump his creatures. I need to because Honey Mammoth is just. Yeah, just I don't like Honey Mammoth. So. Probably get rid of that. It's 
ramp deck is really something, I'm telling you. Ugh, really. That's kind of fine, but kind of eh. Bounce creatures are good, I will say that. I think the bounce creatures are really good. Um, I guess we'll do Core Sky Fisher into Omen. Seems like a play. I could Vaulted Surge in Desperation, but we'll see. I'm kind of behind, so... These, these game life creatures are just really annoying. It's hard for me, for, for me to punch through here. Okay, I'll block this and take out one of his bulls. I had another land, but I'm probably dead. God, this deck is... He, this deck, I played it, and it's just annoying. It, I don't know what else to do. Uh, well, I mean... I'm not in a terrible position, but... Definitely don't like it. The only thing I can do is, like, Synthesizer score... I don't even want to do that. Yeah, I kind of have to. Okay, and then... Uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. He's tap creature. Okay, so... Now that I know he's kind of running more of those... I kinda wanna just this here you hear something on the watch. Omens? Okay though still. I like omen. If he has bounce, then Code Spell Cleric is actually kind of stupid in this matchup. It's not even worth it. And doing that is like whatever. It's fine, but it's not great. Alright. So we're in that is. I guess it's just Soul Warden. We'll put in one. I, we don't need like that many. <sighs> I could punt this again, man. But just the decks I'm getting are just unlucky. This matchup's terrible. Like any mono grains, any stompy build, this deck gets wrecked by. So. The unfortunate part of playing Core Sky Fisher. Uh, I mean, keeping this hand's okay. I don't run on many lands, so I don't plan on getting mana screwed, but we'll see. I don't know. Could be wrong. He starts off slow, and I think having more lands in this matchup is good. Ooh, especially to have that. I'll discard a land with that, too. That's, that seems good. He's just winding his way. Ooh. Big creature hit. So I gotta hurry and do the stuffs. Of course I get another land. Why wouldn't I get another land? I don't run that many, but just happen to happen to get some. Okay, should I just synthesize no? Still spinning my wheels. He is too, but doing it better than me. Let me tell ya. Okay. At least I can discard these, but still, man. It's not good. Oh my god, I have to. Ooh, that was a good hit. Okay, uh...
Seems badman, but... Whatever. I can core sky Fisher feet of resistance. Because if he plays that thing, then I can feed of resistance. He could play it. Oh no, he can't. He needs double blue. Right. No, he needs one blue? What kind of bull bull is that? Oh, wow. Ugh, now I'm getting unlucky. Of course I am. Why, why wouldn't I be? Stupid. God, really? Okay, I have feet of resistance, but... That ain't gonna help much with these guys. This deck is so annoying. It's stupid. It really is stupid. Well, tempo swing or not? I don't think so. Okay, I can take out his flyer. Probably seems like the play. <laughs> stupid as that sounds. And I could take out his honey mammoth with the block from uh Boy. Probably should have taken out that, but I don't know. These honey mammoths are just... Okay. I guess I could do five. Negate. Thank god. Okay. Goes one. Maybe he thinks I'm, like, out of him. Ooh, that's defensive. All right. It's just, like, to get this deck to work, you kind of have to hit your lands. Which, clearly, I'm not doing, so... Clearly, I'm doing something wrong. All right, do this. Another one. That's not great, but... Better than nothing. So. I guess I can do the omen. Yeah. Seems like a good thing to do. Yep, there's another hunting element. And a uh, man of war. That's not wonderful. Okay, uh, I can do blocking too. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Ah, uh, do I want to do that though? Probably not. Just get rid of the flyer, I guess. And then I will play... Nothing, probably. Maybe I get a land. Bollocks. Of course. Don't get a land either. Linware Money Man, let's just ramp into those guys. This game is turning into a crap shoot. It's like, how do you deal with a board like this? You can't. You can't. Against against this deck, it's just there. a combo deck would be like amazing to fight against. So this is just terrible. You can't. There's nothing you can do in this matchup because this deck has been terrible with Green Stompy. So it's like it's just a no-brainer that you we're go you're gonna lose. So. I'm really upset with my tournament runs. I have to. I have to trade the board. I have no choice. Oh, look at that. There's a land. I guess that will return. 
guess I'll return winning invitation. Do that. I can hold on the synthesizer to get like a like a two for one, but it's like I'm trading his board for his board. He'll probably slow it slow down, but who knows? Yep. At least I can kill his regardless, it's just not it's not gonna do much. Like I'm just I can't do anything. This board is just not built to deal with that. Maybe I should have put in more life gain, who knows. This thing is tapped. I still have a chance. Not really having any chances here. God. Okay. I mean, at least I have something. But it's not... Not nothing. Alright, I think I'm just dead. This is just ridiculous. Like, I lose every, every tournament round because of this. Like... You you can't make this sh you can't make this shit up you you can't actually make this shit up it it's rigged every time rigged against me it just you have to play hard removal like in your decks you have to play any exile you you, you just have to five damage but I don't know I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, because if he's playing Mono Black Burn, then I mean, I kind of just need to hit the gas pedal. He doesn't run a lot of removal, so I think he only runs like Withering. So, if he is playing Burn, I don't know if he is playing Burn. Who knows? Okay, maybe he's not. I'm just gonna start. Oh, it's Body Boy, okay. Um, should I just kill his payoff? Probably? I think it's big. I don't know. I should have attacked. <laughs> Probably have a good idea. Okay, so he's not playing that. He's playing, um, or second steal. Which is okay. Alright. Man, not what I wanted to see. Should I risk it for biscuits? Nah. Shouldn't really do that. Alright, let's put out core skyfishy. Hopefully it doesn't have the sack and steel card. Alright, let's go for damage. Yeah, I guess killing that okay, so definitely need to be fast now. Is that on attack? Oh that's good. Um Damn, what should I do here? I guess do this. And then... Gain life. Pressure him a little bit. As long as I... Because he's out of gas already, so... Got, he got a sack... Oh no, last gas, okay. So he's out of cards. I'm pretty much out of cards too, but... I mean, I got so much more than him, so right. still damage. I think we need to block here. Kill his menace creature. Probably kill this thing with voltage surge. Round timer started. Feels that confident, huh? We have a lot of menace. Or it's like the menace. Connection thing deck, right? He's playing this deck. We do that, I think only once each turn. Alright, sounds good. 
Um, yeah, Riolo, Experimental Synthesizer. Another Voltaren. Yeah, I guess so. Not hitting land drops is so, like, weird. Like, why am I not hitting land drops? It just baffles me. I was testing this deck and I was getting consistent good land drops, but I'm not anymore. Like, what is going on? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can you activate that? Yeah, I can. He's just gonna sack it, so I might as well just do this. Yeah. So then I can kill it. It's not like that matters. Wow, I am just getting dumpstered. Seriously, can I get a land? I think you. Yeah. Okay. We're okay now. You could just get me here, but I have code, uh, Cloud Shift, so... Play that. So I can block, blink, draw another card. If he tries to steal, then I can... Okay, dude. Ah! Uh, I guess. Yeah, get rid of this thing. Could have this the other one and I just get absolutely dumpstered again. He has one card. Like, why? Why is he doing this good against? Like, what is this? <laughs> Are you serious? <sighs> like, what do you do? What is my deck supposed to do? What is it supposed to do? This is ridiculous. Okay, I definitely will need that. That's fine, actually, if I have that. Okay, Feet of Resistance, definitely. Although Cloud Shift's pretty good on its own. Eh, just leave that one out. Don't need to worry. Okay. Definitely taking that out. Uh, other than that, I don't see what else I can take out. Well, I kind of don't have any room now. God, I guess more- well, he does run one damage creature, so having that is pretty good. Yeah, if he takes my creatures, it's just no good. Yeah. Run that, kill his small creatures. Just a couple, not a lot. I guess I'll uh, have one Soul Warden. Take out a Fairy Godmother? I don't know. That should be fine. I really need to win one game at least. Come on. Don't do me like this. It's an okay hand. It's not great, but it's not it's not terrible. It's it's going places, let's just say that. Alright, I could just kill all of his creatures. Yeah, so. It's probably what I have to do. Not gonna lie. Just kind of empty his hand. Hopefully he gets the sauce. Okay, uh, just not drawing. Wow, just not drawing lands. The other game I was playing, it this didn't happen. I don't know what is with this deck. I kind of need to just go in ranked because I think against Sparky it has some different algorithm that I don't know. It's 
so it's not working out basically uh, that's what i'm trying to say uh, desperate farmers kind of a kind of a just a well nah it grows if i kill it i can raise him i think depends how much gas he has in his hand Damn, I'm doing terrible. I'm just not drawing the lands. Don't know what I need to do different. I don't know. I really don't know. Huh, that's something, I guess. I don't know. Wow. Just, where are my lands? <laughs> just where are they? All right, I have this. That's fine. Like, can I just draw something, please? A land would be nice. Maybe put 18 lands. Yep, there's another thing gone. Jeez, man. Oh, you can't make this up. You can't really make this up. Like, good in vintage, but not good in the... Uh, I guess this. Yeah, I need to kill that. A lot of things I need to kill. Yeah, let's just keep... Mm -hmm. Cool, sure. Why not? We didn't sack. Interesting. Can you pick nothing? No. I guess you could put it on that. Okay. At least I can gain life, but still. Just not drawing lands is just terrible. So. Probably has another one. Oh, thank god he's out of gas. Like that matters. Okay, well. Now I have life lane. So this will be uh, interesting. Hmm. Sure. Okay. I can stabilize the board now. With lifelink, this is going to be quite useful. Lucky draws, man. Lucky draws, man. Like. Run out of gas, please. I beg of you. I'm just not drawing anything. Gain two life. Gain two life. Ooh. Kind of just need to gain life until he just draws lands. Thank you. Okay. At least now... I can gain back the life, but still, man, just like, can I get a land anytime? Anytime would be nice, you know, just get a land from Like, 17 lands, man, it's just not like, <sighs> Yeah, we need to. I have no other choice. Okay, at least these are 1-3, so they gain life and I'm stabilizing but just not drawing anything. I know I run like 17 lands, but come on. I tested this deck and it should just work and it's not working. It's just not working. Like, what do I have to do? Well, that was a good draw. Eighteen lands maybe should have been one number. I tested this deck to make sure I would not get land screwed, and yet here we are. <laughs> here we are. We're getting absolutely crushed. I can't make decks anymore. Like I only have two or three decks I use, and I should just use those because I, I guess I'm not really good at making decks. Like, what do you do? You, There's nothing I can do. Nothing. They're, they're just absolutely screwed. It really feels like... Like I should be in last place, but I'm not. Because I, I come every day and I just make decks and stuff. 
could sack in response, but I kind of need the life, so yeah. The thing is, is that this deck was good. Like, I, I tested it, and it just was doing great. Doing absolutely fine, but now it's just like, what is going on with this? Well, fine. Well, jeez. You should have called sooner. Okay. What can I do here? Um, I guess I can cloud shift. No, not really. I can't do that, really. There is an option I have, though. Which is very dumb, but I'm going to try it. He could have a burn spell, but... Kill that in response. If he knows what he's doing, he knows what he's doing, so... I kinda need to kill it, so... Ugh. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Why? Why do you have these answers? Ugh. God bless America. I can't block it, but I could do this. And blink it. Uh, just gain life. I can gain life back, so it's not a big deal, but... Certainly the one I wasn't expecting. Oh yay, we're saved. How oh, wonderful. At least I can kill Body Dropper. Well, no, I probably need to kill that. Oh, would you look at that? That's exactly what I wanted in my life. Okay. What, what are my options here? Nothing, really. I couldn't even win one game. I should have just played Bogles. Or something else, yeah. Yep. Uh, and I gotta upload this video too. I gotta show the world how bad I am at magic. I'm, I tested this. I'm just, I'm not building any decks anymore. Like, I just need to stick to my three decks I have. Like, let me just explain to you my trouble. This will probably be a long video, by the way me just explaining my trouble. Let me just explain to you my troubles right now, okay? I tested this deck from with Sparky and everything was flawless. When I cast this, I got my land drops, everything was going good. And it's just these games, I got either unlucky or I didn't hit my land drops. Like, and I show you guys every, day, every time what I do. Just throw them in the trash. It's just not worth it. These are the three decks I probably would start running now, because there's just... I... and this sounds really stupid, and it sounds really... Like... In this format, I like decks that are just not interactive. Like, they can't touch anything of mine. Um, because I think everyone runs, like, either control or aggro. And having a way to disrupt that, like Bant Vogels, where they can't target my stuff, or it's hard to target. Or having a combo where you just win on the spot and damage doesn't really matter. So this is also a deck where you, it's no interaction. There is some, I mean, you can just disrupt the combo, but that takes a disruption, which I could just go aggro anyways. And then there's Kiln Fiend. Which basically does the same thing, but not really. It's more like an aggro. Just you win with aggro, and that's it. So what I'm trying to say is I'm not really good in this format with decks that are aggressive. Or decks that are control. I like decks that are just like 
hard to interact with. Are you saying GG to me? <laughs> so, I think I'm just going to stick with these three decks. I might try to test this out. But other than that, I just don't see a point in making new decks if they're not going to make me win. These did in the past, like Mogwarts, like Bogles, and like Kelpine. These, all these three decks have in common is they're all good with me. The decks I play, that I make, the new decks I play, they're just not good. They're not good at all. Um, and that just speaks to how the meta, it's not warped. I say it's more focused and it's very linear. When you make a deck, there's not man many interesting things you can do with decks. So these decks I've built do something that is just a little bit interesting and not just aggro or not just control. You know, I like decks like that and I can't play a synthesizer deck if I can't do anything with it. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I'm I'm not frustrated now because now I know my learning experience with joining this is that you stick with your decks and that's it. You stick with what you're good with and don't try to experiment. It's not worth it and you're just going to get absolutely crushed. If you don't have enough playtesting, if you don't have enough, you're going to get crushed. So that's what I've learned. You, Honestly, these decks, I can just dump them in the trash like, like I'm going to do right now. Like I'm just going to like, just do, a deck you're good with is just going to be better than building a deck that someone else is good with. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to... Honestly, actually, I'll keep that though, because <laughs> that's another vocal deck. Um, probably should hard that. Uh, stick to what you're good with. Don't, don't push the bar too high. But yeah, uh, now that my rant's over, um, I can focus more on. I probably have championship stuff I have to do, because I'm in the top seed. But other than that, I could be patient with that. So. I am focusing on FFR, and I'm doing that right now, and I'm doing good in that, so. Right now, I don't need this. It's making me frustrated now, and the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, I call everyone deck masters, and it's warped so much that you have to have your own deck that you're good with. You can't build any. You can't build anything else um, that you're not good with, and that sucks because sideboards are just not good enough. If sideboards were good enough, you can build whatever you want. I've, there's like three things. Sideboards aren't good enough. To a lot of decks, it's there's a visible spectrum of like control and aggro are going to be the best and there's no answer because you don't have that many cards to pick from so you won't have a lot of good answers and three is that your meta is going to is going to have people that are good with one deck and the other so you're never going to have a situation where everyone's going to play a different deck you're usually just going to have people playing their same two or three decks. You know? Which I get. It's arena. You 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 don't have access to a lot of cards. But still, like, it's just annoying. You know? I can't... I learned that you just can't build anything new. And I'm going to stick to that. So, like, with next tournament, I'm just going to... If they add new additions, okay. I'll add them to my existing decks. Like... Kelfin, they're adding that double team. I might try that out. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna stick with these three or four decks I have. Um, are you gonna be brainless? Just 
play Burn. There you go. <laughs> Burn's not always gonna win, but okay. I think Burn's the best. Either Burn or Ninjas. You can play Ninjas or Burn and be good with them. But other than like, you can't be good with Core Skyfisher. You can't be good with uh, Serpentine Curve. You know, those decks require time. That's probably why it's not good in Vintage Popper. Um, I, cause I heard also Skyfisher just went into the way of, um, they're doing inside out combo because they're saying that their matchups with Faye is just terrible and their matchups with like any Stompy deck is also really bad. Like, uh, Kiln Fiend. Um, so they're saying, oh, I just go combo and I can, it's better if I do. And person who made that deck is absolutely right you should probably splash in combo with of course sky fisher and vintage popper because it's not worth dealing damage in popper is impossible sometimes so having a combo kill is just better than having damage <laughs> so it's really warping the format having those like fey and uh like tron -S decks too so but anyways that was just my rant and how I feel about this season. I did great the first... I did great the first time around. Now I just like... I did terrible after this, so... But yeah, I mean, everyone else did great. I'm probably still in the top three, top four, who knows. That's just, I just show up. You know, that's worth it. Just for that. They call me a championship. I'll gladly join. I will just be more focused in uh, my other tournament I'm doing right now. And I think for the championship, I'm just gonna go with four or three decks. I might even surprise people. I have I have some decks I want to try out still, but it's gonna be less likely I do that. I think I'll get my one experimental deck in, and then just the rest. I've been experimenting. I've been lying to myself that I've been just sticking to my gut. I'm not. I've been experimenting with a lot of decks. Like this deck with the knife thing. Like the vampire burn. Did I even do that in that? I don't think so. With the serpentine curve. I don't have it anymore. <laughs> I've been experimenting and I gotta stop that. I, I, I'm not good at that. So, there may be some people that are, but I'm not, so. I'm not good at taking on new decks. I'm only good at what I build, you know? Um, I've kind of always had that, too. Someone gives me a commander deck, I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do. It's just my focused mindset in decks I built, because I know what to do with these decks. I don't care what anyone says about these decks, like, oh, you should add this, oh, you should add that. Like, I know what I'm doing. And they put up results, you know. They, it's not a joke. They put up results. The results speak for themselves sometimes, you know. This I had a bad showing. I just got unlucky. That happens sometimes. I did get one win. But compared to the other decks I made, I, I got zero wins with some of the other decks I made. Compared to, like, Dan Bogles, where I, I, don't, I almost went undefeated. Like, except an endless secret crush me with the uh, fodder. I have new tech for that, by the way, against that. It's not the uh, plants anymore. It's, I have some really spicy tech. It also against burn, too. Kiln Fiend? Crushed with that, man. I even won against Mono Green, which was really hard to match up. Awkward stomped everyone and their mothers at one time, but then I got dumpstered by recall deck by Ran a Ryan, so I'm sticking with these decks. I've been ranting too much. That's just what I do. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful first day and night. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye, in peace.